2013 Underclassmen Challenge was a special event. It was a culmination of all the showcase camps from December of 2012, and we invited the best 2014 and 15 prospects to compete for two days in head-to-head -head situations that presented them the opportunity to separate themselves from other quality specialists. The guys we will highlight we feel very strongly will land at Division I schools and be impact players. A portion of this camp was held in the Tropicana Dome in culmination with the Under Armour All-American game, and the other portion of camp was held at Farragut High School in St. Petersburg. These venues provided an excellent atmosphere upon which the following guys separated themselves. Gary Wunderlich, a 2014 product from the state of Tennessee, separated himself in both kicking and punting. Gary is someone who has a very explosive leg at earlier camps has hit five second hang times and he showed a great improvement on his field goal ball striking off the ground. He made 10 out of 10 field goals in the charting session and was one of the top competitors all weekend long on field goals, kickoffs, and punts. I view Gary as a surefire Division I prospect and he showed it at camp. Wow. J.K. Scott from the state of Colorado has as much talent as any prospect we've seen in the last couple of years. J.K. gets tremendous hang times on his punts, his kickoffs are special, and his field goals are increasingly becoming more and more consistent. J.K.'s long frame allows his great leg speed to really work together, create hits that not many guys can match. J.K. is someone that has shown more and more consistency, and with continued refinement, has an excellent opportunity to receive a full paid Division I scholarship in the near future. Aaron Medley, an outstanding 2014 prospect from the state of Tennessee, showed his skills at this camp. Aaron's someone who's a good punter, good kickoff guy, an excellent field goal kicker. His field goals is his greatest strength, handles pressure extremely well, and has a coordination and rhythm rarely seen at the high school level. If I needed a 40-yard field goal to win a game, Aaron would be my guy out of everybody else at camp. He showed superior confidence and repeatability, and those are traits I feel will carry over to the next level. Kyle Bamberg from Michigan really came out and separated himself at this camp on field goals. Kyle, someone who won the field goal competition, made about 12 consecutive kicks win it eventually with a 60 yard or off the ground. Kyle's range and overall explosiveness and repeatability has improved since we've seen him the last time. Kyle's kickoffs are solid and he's also a very good punter. Kyle's someone to watch for as the recruiting season heats up. Adam Centers might have the fastest leg in the 2014 class. Adam won the kickoff competition and is working on developing off the ground on field goals. If Adam can continue to make progress on his field goals off the ground, he will be a surefire Division I prospect. The majority of his kickoffs are over four seconds in hang time and go over 75 yards in distance with no wind or a slight tailwind. Ben Rice is somebody at camp that definitely stuck out as well. Ben's kickoffs are consistently over four seconds in hang time and his field goal repeatability off the ground has gotten better and better every time we've seen him. He's someone who's a late bloomer that I feel in the next six months will continue to improve and be in contention for many Division I scholarships. Trevor Moore from the state of Oklahoma is also an outstanding 2014 prospect. Trevor is someone that every time we see him continues to impress us with his repeatability on field goals and his kickoff hang times now have gotten to the point where he's a Division I scholarship prospect. Trevor's someone to watch for as he goes throughout the summer tour, and it wouldn't surprise me if he receives a Division I scholarship early in his campaign. Two punters that stood out at camp are Zach Schmidt from California and Kyle Hahn from Michigan. Both guys demonstrated superior leg strength and the repeatability is improving. Zach's hands have gotten to the point now where he's able to repeat his motion and that's going to be an important thing for him in the years to come. Kyle has been working on his steps and his steps now he's a two-step punter and he's shortened up his approach and he will continue to get better in the months to come. Both of these guys should be highly sought after as punters in the 2014 class. 
Landon Shear, a 2014 kicker from the state of Florida, also had an outstanding camp. Landon, someone whose field goal repeatability and motion is very consistent, and his kickoffs have improved to the point where he's going to be in contention for Division I scholarships in the upcoming months. The snapping division was well represented at camp. Ike Powell, 6'3", 240 pound snapper from Georgia, may be the best snapper I've seen in the last four years. He to me is the complete package. He has a good frame, his hands and his, and his overall ability to be able to repeat the motion are extremely impressive. His fine-tuned motor skills are very, very solid. His technique is solid and he produces a great tight spiral that's easily caught by the punter and by the holder on field goals. Steven Gabbard, a 6'3", 205-pound snapper from the state of Florida, also had an outstanding camp. He's someone who charted extremely well and showed well in the drill work portion of camp. Zach Wade from Georgia and C.J. Keller from Arizona also separated themselves from the pack of snappers. Both of those guys are able to snap with anybody in America on velocity and consistency, and they should be highly looked at in the 2014 class. As you notice, I use the term Division I prospect with all the guys mentioned earlier. I normally don't do that, but this was a select camp. This was a select field. These guys separated themselves. These are guys to keep an eye on as the recruiting cycle heats up in the 2014 class. We got a great two days to be able to coach these guys and evaluate these guys in head-to-head -head situations. I trust these guys will represent Coles well as they proceed down the recruiting trail. We want to wish everybody who attended the camp the best. We look forward in the years to come to have many of these guys become household names in college football.